What is up, folks? Welcome to episode three of the Keto Playgrounds uh, Keto Cookbook. This episode is going is, uh, is to be a good one. It's going to be one you're going to want to make today. This is a cast iron, cast iron skillet keto breakfast pizza. But before we get started, uh, let's make sure we go to theketoplayground.com and join the Keto Playground on Facebook. We do lots of recipe sharing, lots of uh, back and forth discussions, questions. The only thing we ask is you don't be a keto Nazi because we hate those. You can keep those on Reddit where they belong. And check out my other podcast. It's the Bobby Dizzle Podcast. Here's the logo for it. Um, it's over on bobbydizzle.com. we got a lot of new episodes coming to that pretty soon, so check it out. bobbydizzle.com, and both of those links are in the description. So let's get started. As everyone knows, the first thing you should do before cooking on your cast iron skillet is give it a thorough cleaning. The two things you need for that thorough cleaning is a very gritty, gritty as possible cleaning pad and Dawn dish soap. Because if it's good enough for an oily duck, it's good enough for a cast iron skillet. Then you just spray it off. Then you just... You just really, really want to get it in there. Rinse. And just simply dry it off and you're ready to cook. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a large bowl, crack eight eggs. Add one third cup of heavy whipping cream. Big pinch of salt, big pinch of pepper, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and two ounces of shredded cheese. Whip this mixture together until all ingredients are well mixed and eggs are ready to be scrambled. Set this bowl aside. In a large skillet or pan, turn the heat to medium high heat. Cook six slices of bacon. Cook bacon until done and crispy. Dab dry and let cool. Then crumble the bacon into a bowl, the same way you would for salad crumbles. Set the bacon bowl aside. In another large skillet or pan, I'd recommend just reusing the one from the bacon, turn the heat to medium high heat, and cook a half a pound of breakfast sausage until well done. Do not drain this pan. On a cutting board, I would recommend doing this step while the sausage is cooking because it takes a few minutes. Dice your vegetable toppings. This is where you can freestyle. Literally anything goes at this point. You can use whatever veggies or topping combinations you see fit. I've used a bunch of toppings for this and I've just used three toppings and like I said I've used a bunch of toppings. Neither have been bad, neither have been great, I'd say neither have been great, they've all been great. No, none have been bad. So just go with what you want to put on a breakfast pizza for ketosis. However, the list below are the vegetable toppings I'm going to include because they're what I prefer. Note, these toppings will be included in the macros. Half a cup of diced onion, that's about a half of a uh, medium sized onion, I kind of eyeball it. Half of a diced bell pepper, and one whole diced jalapeno, because you know we got to have that heat. Now back to the sausage pan, once the sausage is done, turn the heat to low. Add all of your vegetables, and add all of your bacon. Add three to five teaspoons of white wine vinegar, and add three to five teaspoons of minced garlic. Turn the heat back to medium high, saute this mixture until the vegetables are translucent, and then mix all toppings well. Scoop out a third of these toppings and place into a bowl to cool. Set this bowl aside. Pour remaining two thirds of the toppings into to the egg mixture bowl. Whip the toppings mixture with the egg mixture until all the ingredients are thoroughly combined. Place a large cast iron skillet over medium heat and let warm. I use a 12 incher. Also, the bit at the beginning of the uh, video was, was a joke. Do not wash your cast iron skillet with soap, folks. Do not wash your cast iron skillet with soap. Use coarse salt and a rag. Do not use soap on a cast iron skillet. I said it. For those of you pissed off in the comments, it was a joke. Do not use soap on a cast iron skillet. Anyway, pour the egg mixture into the cast iron skillet with a spatula. Check the size of the skillet to see when the egg begins to set up slash solidify on the sides. When you first start to see the egg start to get kind of like when you test scrambled eggs, when you first start to see it setting up around the side of that cast iron skillet, don't wait any longer, put it in the oven. Hence this next step. Once the egg begins to solidify on the step, on the side, place the cast iron skillet in the 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes is over, take the cast iron skillet out of the oven. Be careful, that handle is hot AF. Evenly sprinkle the remaining third of the toppings onto the top of the newly now cooked egg pizza crust. Also sprinkle on two ounces of shredded cheese. Also, and lastly, here's a uh, step that I added impromptu in one of the test runs. Uh, if you're making it for immediate consumption or just want to be fancy, 
crack three or four eggs on top. It really sets it off. Um, when you get a when you get a bite of this and you're done, and it's some of the, and when you cut through that egg that you put on top, and it kind of runs down into the mixture, you'll you'll thank me. But this step is optional, and I would not recommend this step if you plan on using it specifically for leftovers or meal prep, because the uh, the leftover fried egg on top does not translate well to leftovers. I don't know why I don't know why the egg crust does, and the fried egg on top doesn't, but it doesn't. Um, it does. It's okay to scrape it off and then put it in the microwave if you're going to do leftovers. So give it a, give it a try. Like I said, I haven't had a bad experience yet. Now place this cast iron skillet back into the oven for 20 minutes at 350. The result is a beautiful breakfast pizza that'll serve six. And the macros on this dish are going to be 460 calories, 22 grams of protein, 4.4 net carbs, and 38.9 grams of fat. So this is a Complete keto meal. It would make a great lunch and make a great breakfast. I just really recommend it. I really like this dish. All right, that is keto cast iron breakfast pizza. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you don't, didn't forget to go to the ketoplayground.com and join the keto playground on Facebook and check out my podcast, the Bobby Dizzle Podcast, bobbydizzle.com. Thanks everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with everyone. Peace.